the first of my introductory question exemplars for you. So here we have a stone of mass 0 0.10 kilo. Let's write that down. Attached to a piece of string, whirled around at a constant rate in a horizontal radius of 0.75 meters. And we have two and a half revolutions every second. So that's uh, two and a half. Uh, that's the frequency is what I'm trying to say. So we know the mass, we know the radius, we know the frequency. And part one of our question wants us to deliver the angular speed of the stone. So we need a relationship that connects uh, the angular speed or angular velocity to what we know. Uh, and we know they are related by the frequency. We know omega equals 2 pi f. So omega equals 2 pi f. That backward blocks. Okay. So, omega equals 2 pi f. We stick in our numbers there then. We have equals 2 times 3.14 times f, which was 2.5. So, that gives us 15.7, we're looking at uh, two sig figs, so we're looking at omega equal to 15. Sorry, 16. radians per second. Two, two, say fix. So, just want to make that bold, if I could do that without hiding everything, but I can't, never mind, let's do it then. So, 16 radians per second. Then part two. The orbital speed of the stone, of course this is A1 and 2, stick an A in there if we can. So. A2 then, we know that V equals R omega. That's going to be our connection between the linear speed, V, and the angular speed, omega. So, We've got radius of 0 0.75 and we have an omega of 15.7. Now I would use the 15.7, not the 16, because uh, we'll lose some of the precision of our answer and possibly fall outside tolerance if we use the 16. So. 0.75 times 15.7 gives us 12 meters per second, which is fine to say figs. Okay, then we've got B part one, which says in order to move in a circle, the stone must be subjected to a centripetal force. Calculate the magnitude 
of that centripetal force? Well, we've got we've got everything. We've got m, v, omega, everything. So let's use f equals m r omega squared. We could have used m v squared over r. Uh, so f equals the mass, which we said was 0 0.10, times the radius, which we said was 0 0.75, times omega, uh, which we said was 15.7. And we're going to square that. So There we go. And that gives us 19 newtons again to 2 to give it figures. And then part 2. What provides a centripetal force? Well, of course, it is the tension in the string. So there's our first exemplar.